Everybody. welcome back to the channel thank you for following thank you for subscribing below we're gonna to begin to talk about wind this is like a huge subject it's uh, one of my favorite subjects in disc golf because everything about disc golf has to do with how air interacts with our discs <music> Check this out. So we all know that a tailwind will drop a disc out of the air and we all know that a headwind will tend to lift a disc. But why is that? Let's talk about it. So first off, our game is played as an interplay between air and disc. And then we deal with basically what is Bernoulli's principle, that air traveling over the top of a disc goes faster than air traveling underneath a disc, thus creating lift. So the faster the air moves over a disc, the more lift is generated. That's basic principles of flight. One of the things about a disc that makes it amazing and what completely entrances us all is that a disc spins. And because a disc spins, it brings in gyroscopic effect. We won't get into that right now. Let's mainly discuss the interplay of air between the disc and the air. If I'm putting at 25 miles an hour and there is zero air moving around me, my airspeed will be 25 miles an hour. I can expect a pretty true putt. But if I have a tailwind, say the wind is going this way, if I have a tailwind and I putt, and I've got a 10 mile an hour tailwind, and my putt goes 25 miles an hour, I can subtract the 10 miles an hour from the 25 miles an hour, and I'm setting it 15 miles an hour. My disc is used to flying 25 miles an hour for a specific putt. And if I take airspeed away from it, that means there's less air passing over the surface of the disc, less lift being generated, the disc is going to fall out of the sky. Now, if we turn around and we putt into a headwind, if I putt 25 miles an hour straight into a 10 mile an hour headwind, the airspeed my disc will be encountering it is not only going the ground speed of 25 miles an hour, but it's encountering wind going this way at 10. We will be putting at 35 mile an hour in airspeed. So how is this information going to help you shave strokes on the course? Well, if you're dealing with a tailwind, you're going to know that a disc is going to want to fall out of the sky. And now that we understand the basic principle of why the disc wants to fall out of the sky, it's not that the sky at this moment is necessarily falling on the disc and pushing it down. It is that there is less air around the disc holding it up. If we're dealing with the headwind, we know it's not necessarily the sky at the moment is exactly lifting, but that we have more airspeed over the disc generating more lift. So what have we learned? The more air that passes over a disc, the more it will lift. The less air to pass over a disc, the less it will lift, the more it will fall to the ground. If you encounter a tailwind, you might think of putting the disc a little bit higher so that it has more time to fall. And if you're dealing with a headwind, you might want to make sure that your disc is more dead on on the target with less loft. Thank you.